This video demonstrates the process of saving your Alteryx workflow, reconfiguring your file path dependencies, and the process of creating a zip file from your folder. Alteryx does not automatically save your workflows. Thus, it is generally a good idea to save your Alteryx workflow at the beginning and frequently while you are working on the workflow. We did not do this as the workflow we were creating was relatively short. However, I will caution that it is not unheard of that people learn a painful lesson when they spend several hours creating a workflow, only to lose those hours spent because the power goes out and they never saved their workflow. To save an Alteryx workflow, go up to the File menu and select Save As. Then select the Browse option. Navigate until you find the same data set that we have been saving all of our Excel files in, both originally and after we have processed them through Alteryx. Then go ahead and name your workflow, your name, Alteryx Workflow for Roof Claims. And you'll see that the file type is going to be the designer 64 workflowyxmd file type. Go ahead and hit Save. Once we have saved our Alteryx workflow to the same file where we have all of our Excel spreadsheets, we can go ahead and reconfigure all of our file path dependencies. We're going to reconfigure the file path dependency by clicking back on the input or output tool and then we're going to delete the entire file path except for the file name. Alteryx defaults to searching for the file name in the path dependency in the same folder where you have your workflow saved if there's no file path dependency other than the file name. We can go ahead and reconfigure all of our other file path dependencies so that all we're leaving is the name of the actual file. We're going to do that for both of the inputs and then both of the output files. The reason that we have done this is that we have now made our entire workflow very portable. We'll be able to go ahead and zip up one file that contains both our input and output files and our workflow. And we can send that zip file to anybody, whether it be our manager or a client. They'll be able to unzip the file, open up the workflow if they have Alteryx on their computers, and run it with no further intervention. So we can go ahead and run that. And since we have made an alteration since we last saved, we can go ahead and click File and Save. We can now navigate into our File Explorer. And what we want to do now is we'd like to create a zip file out of our File Explorer. So once we're out into our normal File Explorer, we can go ahead and right click and we can select the Send to Compressed Zip Folder option. And when we click on that Compressed Zip Folder option, then we'll be able to have a compressed folder that contains, like I said, both our workflow and all of our Excel spreadsheets so that anybody now can open that up, load up the workflow in Alteryx on their computer, and run it with no further intervention on their part.